Our next segment, we're going to be talking about team users and some of the advantages of using a team user and what a team user can actually do, what permissions it has and whatnot. I know that Ken has recently had some good experience with this, setting it up and trying it out. And it's a little bit different than NAV, would you say? The actual yeah, limited yeah. So user what, and NAV? What used to be called limited users. So basically the idea is Microsoft, you have full users, which can do anything, post entries, read entries, create right. entries. And then um, what's now called a team user. Team users are uh, significantly more limited, um, and it's not always 100% clear what, what those limitations are. Especially because I think team users started out with Business Central and Dynamics 365 for financials just as read-only capabilities, right. right? Now they've evolved to a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. So if you were to go, if you were to look at the, the new, there's a new Business Central license guide that's released October 2019. Okay. And there's a, there's a detailed explanation here. And in a nutshell, what it says a team member can do is read any data in Business Central, update existing data and entries in Business Central, mm -hmm. approve or reject tasks in all workflows assigned to a user, create, edit, or delete a quote, uh, create, edit, or delete personal information, enter timesheets, use Power Apps, um, and then also up to 50, 15 custom uh, entities. So the big one though, update existing data and entries in Dynamics 365 for Business Central. Right. Is that clear cut? Does that mean anything well, that's existing you can no, update? That, that's a little vague. <laughs> um, so what it means is generally that you, a, a team member cannot create a new customer cannot create a new item, cannot create a new invoice, okay? okay? Um, but if there's a customer that exists and I'm a team member, I can go in and I can, I can modify the address or the phone number yeah. on the customer record or change a field on the item. All the field. Right? Okay. Um, but it, where it gets a little gray is um, as a team user, what I found is even though I cannot create a new item, I can create item cross-references, item substitutions, I can wow. create item comments. Uh, there's some other things I can do, but I cannot create item price records. Hmm. So, so it's lacking consistency. So there, yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of consistency there, yeah. um, but, but you know, the general rule is that a team member can read anything and they can update existing data. They could also run rep any report, any number of reports. Are they able they to post want. anything? No. Not at all. Right? Because that's writing or inserting new records. Right. Uh, so they cannot post transactions. Um, so we just wanted to kind of go through that. And, and so, for example, what we found, and, 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 and also the fact that they can create sales quotes, right? I could go in as a team user. I can create a sales quote document, everything I need to. You can create a sales quote. But I cannot create a sales order. So if I'm a salesperson, I have an existing customer, and I'm on site, and I want to place an order for them, I can't create the order. I could create it, though, as a quote. Okay. And then maybe send a notification or a workflow to someone else who then would kind of approve that quote and convert it into an order. Hmm. Right? Um, so those are some of the kind of nuances uh, that are out there. We're, we kind of would suggest, um, because there is a significant reduced price on a team user, uh, our recommendation would always be to, if you think you can maybe get away with using a team license, add one. Right. Set up a user, log in, see what you can do. Because a team user is uh, $8, I believe, so yeah. that's a big difference between either 70 or Huge. 100. It's, yeah, it, it's like a ten, 10, you know, 10 times more right. cost-effective price yeah. uh, on the users. So I just thought, yeah, since we've kind of been doing some, some work on that for some existing customers recently, I thought we would share a little bit on that to kind of maybe add a little bit of clarity around those, the team user permissions. Very nice. Very, very informative. All right.